I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I would hope so. I fear they may not. Oh boy. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Yeah? Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Okay, good. Oh, there's the drill. Damn, the goblins. I'm sure he is. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. We must be getting closer. No, nope. Expelling more of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Ranrock must be rebellion. This is a drill stuff between us and him. You need to move it. Now I shall have it. One moment. You can do that? Oh, jeez. Your Depulsal's real strong. Professor, how'd you get so strong? Can you teach me how to up my Depulso? Oh, I didn't. Spin dash. Ugh. I didn't even see you break it. I'm sorry. I got distracted by goods. Ah, uh, it's just... Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Gotta keep moving forward. Lumos. Why couldn't they make a straight road for this? There's so many wicking worlds dropped along the way. Ranrock. I haven't needed one yet, but... Listen, more goblins up ahead. Yep. Tunnels haven't brought us much luck so far. It's fine. We'll make it out. That looks highly explosive. Oh. Uh. Never mind. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Aha. It turned the camera away for some reason. But I can see little sparkles where the ancient magic is. Getting closer. Ah, yeah, fucking many of them. I can take them out. Okay, the the multiple trolls. Are, how are there so many here already? That's that's a lot of them, actually. That that might. Hey, let's go. Bring it. Take them out. 
Professor Black's not going to show up, is he? No. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Get them this way! We shall make quick work of them! Uh, I wish my friends would show up for this. Oh. They got this. They have an army. But I have professors. I know Professor Hecken has a shark and absolutely demolish a bunch of them. And I'm sure Professor Weasley and Professor Ronan are just as capable. Oh, thank Professor Hecken. Thank you. Oh my god, just blasted them. Yes! Let's go! It'll be fine. You're an or. Thank you, Professor. Where's that pillar going? Thank you for the Levioso. Are you gonna launch it at them now? That's our way forward. Go, let's go, let's go. Make it a bridge. Drop all to work across. Bye. We're good. Where's Professor Ronan? He didn't show up to help. <laughs> Everyone else showed up. Well, Professor O and I also wasn't quite in the thick of things. Oh, well. I'm uh on your side? Do I bring out the wand here? No, no. I'm, I'm here with you. I'm on your side. I'm done with the trials. The wand! Quickly! Thank you, Professor. Stand aside. I am the Keeper. Stand at the ready. Keep the goblins out. Nice. You are very big boys. I'm going to need you to keep protecting this place. Oh, there it is. The final repository. We made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. It's true. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She had no idea of knowing. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. 
what Isadora showed you. You are now the keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Keep it sealed. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. Maybe. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Until I can study it. I'll, sh I'll keep it secret for now. I'll figure out what to do with it. I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. That may be so. Enough, Ranrock. But you don't own what's inside it. It's never it. yours. I've been wanting to play with this. That's Miriam's wand. Oh, if she'd no. simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <clears throat> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> Oh no. Did he just take the power? Is he fusing with it? Oh, he is... An evil dragon. I haven't fought a dragon. There were captured dragons, and I never fought one, but I guess this is a dragon. Also, the only other unique enemy in the game. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Are you okay? I don't have time to check. He's okay. I know what I'm doing. 
stopping you. Hogwarts is going to fall into this pit, and we cannot have that. I'm using the wrong one for this, but okay. Mr. Vic! You're alive! Professor! Oh, good. Repaired the repository. 
Professor. Professor Fig. Miriam. I have her wand. Miriam would have loved you, my young friend. Professor. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Professor Fig. Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson. You could do a better job, His Professor devotion Black. to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I never even got to attend one of his classes. As soon as I can't believe we lost Natty. Fig. Not now. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Of course. Sebastian, there's something yes. you should know. Tell him. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait. What? What are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. 
The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Right, but Once Rockwood with allied them. with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Oh, you bet he did. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. It never is. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Of course. I like how that seems to be part of the main plot. Again, Sebastian is part of the main plot compared to everyone else. Natty almost interrupted that with her owl. I cannot believe that. Also, it's uh, springtime. Which means it's almost the end of the year when summer comes around. Oh, my dorm. It's been so long. Yeah. I noticed I didn't hit credits yet. So, congratulations. You have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is the time to review your field guide and uh, progress. Explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. Alright, well, Natty has something to say. So, oh, I complete all the main quests. Okay, anything gonna pop up? Anyone? So, Natty wants to meet me in the Great Hall. There's that. Uh, world map, there's something out here? Well. Oh, and Poppy. Poppy's in the Great Hall. Natty's at the ma uh, Manor Cape. Alright, I'll go meet with Poppy. I haven't gotten my any main quest, but let's go say hi to Poppy. Because I think she has the end of her storyline as well. Because that was definitely pretty final, the finding the of the uh the Snidgets. Handy resource indeed. You're what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. I will save you for last, actually. Because <laughs> you seem again the most plot Just relevant the person to me. I was hoping to see. Poppy! Hello. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. <laughs> if anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. Happy to help a friend or happy to put poachers in place? No. I'm helping a friend, Poppy. You're good. You're fun to hang out with. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. Mine too. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Never been there Have before? you never been to the Three <laughs> Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Well, Highwing's good company. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of her uh, human friends. <laughs> it was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. So, uh, ha have you heard about from your parents? I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, that's fine. So, what's your Gran say? Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. <laughs> I'm sure. Alright. Stay safe. Think things through a bit more. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now. Well, successfully. more for me. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. <laughs> and with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. Well, bring you me. And I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Or other human friends along, okay? Perhaps Highwing can join us? That sounds like fun. Achievement unlocked. Beast friends. I believe that is the end of Poppy's storyline. Alright. 
Let's go meet up with Natty. Oh, I got a main quest. When did that happen? Weasley's Watchful Eye. Okay, so I have to go talk to Professor Weasley. Required level 24. I'm expecting to clear the game by level 24. Oh, but this is level 28. Wow, level 24, huh? I'm... I'm what now? 37. I'm about to hit 38. But let's go see. Uh, oh, there's... I'll write the Undercroft. But first... Why are you all the way out here, girl? Harlow's last stand. We do have to take care of Theophilus. Because we've taken care of Rookwood. So now let's, uh... Let's take out the other head of the Hydra, shall we? After both uh, Rookwood and Ranrock, this really should not be that big a threat. But let's see how Theophilus fares. I also just like saying his name. Theophilus is a fun name, if not extravagant. It's also like super sophisticated for a guy who's supposed to be like the muscle. I gotta wait for Natty to show up. Natty, what are you doing? Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yes. Your mom helped against uh, Ranrock. Did you know? Did she tell? Did she tell you? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle. He's calling us out, huh? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow. And he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. I mean, I already took out, um, Rookwood. So, yeah, definitely stronger. I'm ready if you're ready. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Or tonight. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. No time. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will. But so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. All right, that's My mother needs courage. to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished. And I think she knows that. As do you. It's true. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. Revelio. He is close. Where He's is not going to show up until we get close. I do not know. We should look around. Here we go. Hey guys, how you doing? Not about you. Oh, you will pay for your deed. Will I? Stop it. You've made a great mistake. Oh, he totally walked into it. I was throwing at the assassin and he walked in front of it. Where are you, Harlow? They got to a death. You're not even trying. Hello there. Little Nat Sionai, in it? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem solving skills. What a coincidence. So do I. You fight like a muggle. I fight like a muggle, eh? Accurate. Oh. And there you go. 
Just to check your health. Good for you. Come on. Come now, you can do better than that. Expelliarmus. Oh, Where's he sliding off? Richter, take oh, a hold. Expelliarmus. Ah, there you are. Yes, you can do better than that. Hey, Harlow. How are you doing? Descending. Defender. Descending. Defender. Bombarder. The shame that the sight's potential goes to waste. Get down. Yeah? Hey, this isn't working at Brooklyn. You think you think it's gonna work here? Oh, hi Natty. You're you're Natty, you're in the way. Natty. <laughs> There's only been three of those in the entire game. <sighs> Natty, you okay? <sighs> Crucio! Oh, she took a Crucio for me. <sighs> no! Kick him in the teeth. I mean, she'll live, but she suffered a lot, but she'll live. Also, I saw her transform. And now she's in a wheelchair. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Nadia, I'm sorry. Very well, but do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Now, they have the same voice actor, so she's talking to herself. I gotta wait for her to leave, too. There we go. It is good to see you, my friend. How you doing? You took a Crucio. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Thanks to you. Not what were you thinking. She helped me. She was protecting me. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mint. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You didn't think about it. You just acted. You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instant. The same way your dad did, huh? Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh, my. There we go. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. Indeed. It's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? It's been a lot, yeah. A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. Can you teach me to be an I believe guess? your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Sorry, that's a bit. Thank you for much to ask. For me. It is always good to see you. The Avenging Gazelle, and that's the end of Natty's storyline. All right. And next up, let's go meet with Sebastian, because I didn't get him sent to Azkaban. 
I wonder what that... I guess that conversation would have been with Ominous instead. What I assume. But, Sebastian. What will you do from here on out? You've got some atoning to do. As much as you can. But, Ominous and I are here, so... You at least won't have to walk it alone, alright friend? Ominous isn't here to hang out, too. I'm glad you came. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She there said the go. guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. That's what I said. I'm so sorry. But I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is... I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. Well... I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. You know... Time can heal some wounds. I don't know if this is one of those wounds, but I'm not gonna say it's impossible. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. Exactly. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Just try well, to listen it wasn't to easy, while. but I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but... I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. I'm glad I met you too. A sallow grave. And that's the end of his storyline as well. Alright, Sebastian. If you need me, as long as we're not doing anything too dark, I'm here for you, bud. Always will be. Ominous too. Alright, let's meet Professor Weasley. Uh, West Tower, Flying Beast Classroom. No, no, no. So that's in her office, which should be Bell Tower? Nope. Because it needs to be that Transfiguration Courtyard. Library Annex? No. Where is this whole section? I guess... No, it's not the Bell Tower Courtyard. I'll go West Tower. We'll see if that's nearby. I feel like there should be one in that courtyard, and I don't know which uh, flame location that is. Let's see. Okay, slightly off, but close enough. Oh, I can't spin dash here. I can't. Hang on, what is this flame, then? One that's out here. Because this is the one. This, this is the flame I was looking for. What is this flame? Uh, Transfiguration Courtyard. That's what I was looking for. I guess it's in the Astronomy Tower section. And then her classroom is right there as well. Which is just across the courtyard, so I don't really know why that's separate. But that's what I was looking for. The uh, auto targeting is a bit weird on the the map there. Like how trying to go to the um the map room sends me like upstairs. But hello, Professor. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me. I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. 
I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. She's great. There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Indeed. Oh, I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. <laughs> what I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. It's like almost 90% done. I think I've made some decent progress. All right, you don't need to rip it out of my hands. I can just put it on the desk, you know? What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I, I tried. see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Like 10%. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late I walked up. to the sorting ceremony. Not my fault. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. Okay. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. I hope I pass. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Well, I've still got two more years. I'm now noticing the uh, the bishop jar she's got here. That would have helped get clue me into transfigure it earlier, but I figured out she's got chess pieces in here. Apparently, the bishop is the only one that's transfigurable. Oh yeah, I saw the chessboard before, didn't I? All right. Oh, and I got another main quest in the great hall. The house cup. End of the year feast. Well then, let us be off. I am here early. <laughs> Helena, where are you going? Okay. Oh, there we go. Attending classes. Hey, don't don't cheat. Come on now. Pitiful for Ravenclaw. Beasts class. I have two of those. Like actual ones, not a hologram. Oh, what are those? Lionfish spines. Also, where am I? Also, what is Poppy doing with all the Ravenclaws? Is it because I'm a Ravenclaw that all the Ravenclaws are showing up? Oh, Natty, is that your dad? Ridiculous! A Bogart transforming into your worst fears. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm here. Hey, guys. I almost never talk to anyone in my house. Hey, Poppy. Hi, Natty. I forget your name. I'm sorry. It's not like the Ravenclaws ever hang out with me anyway. Just a meet. And even barely him. He got one mission. This a story year mission. we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to finish. <laughs> the loyalty <laughs> of Helga Hufflepuff. <laughs> the wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. <laughs> Yippee! What, what are the. Oh. The, the lighting is in the green. And so, Where's Sebastian? The winner of this year's house cup. Excuse me, headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Hi. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 
100 That's points it. to their house. Wouldn't you agree? I'd say my efforts are worth at least a thousand, yes. but okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Yay! Hey, Ominous is cheering for us. Wow, this hall is super empty. But look at all my friends that I've barely talked to. Because you guys never help me with anything. But Raven Glowins.
Those credits were long, and I think at some point they turned into terms of service. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. I'm back in my dorms again. It is night. And I guess that is Hogwarts Legacy. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. If I had to say, as a game, truly honestly, a 6, maybe a 7 out of 10, it's got, it leaves me wanting. There's a lot that can be polished, ironed out. There's a lot that should have been polished and ironed out. That said, as a fan of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World in, uh, in general, 9. Without that, a lot of this is weird and pointless to me. But since I'm a fan and I've, you know, invested quite a lot of time in, in this universe, 9. They really got those points. Like, the lore... The little tidbits of info, all of that is great. As a game, it definitely loses out on a lot of points. There's again like six enemy types, two, three totally unique bosses. Everything else is just rehashes of the same six enemies. Uh, tedious collectibles, collectibles on top of collectibles, inside of collectibles. Uh, exploring the open world, I I get easily distracted, so I explored it. But honestly, not much there that I could say was fun. Uh, the caves, the Merlin trials, not a lot of reward out there. But in general, good job. The studio that made it, Avalanche was it? Considering everything they've seemed to have done as of recent, aside from this, it's a huge departure from what they've done. So I will say, they absolutely achieved in making this. Could they have done better? Maybe? But considering this is the first shot at something really, truly big? Splendid job. Well done. Doesn't make my complaints less valid, but... Really well done. Could have gone way worse. Could have been a really nothing game. And it's not. If there's DLC, if there's a sequel... I am absolutely all for it. I'd say, for me at least, in terms of the game design, they've built up enough goodwill for me to trust something else to come out like this. Because there are things they can improve, the way things work now, fine. Make it better and we'll be good. So, I don't know if I have anything else to say. In my fifth year, I've saved Hogwarts. I've learned a lot of spells. I've learned all the spells. And not once did I use one of these after I learned it. Dark Arts Arena will not count. That is non-canon. Now it's a dream. Nightmare, even. But yeah. This was a good game. Had a lot of fun. So, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you the next adventure.